mail. Let's go after that one then, Mike. Okay. He's got this, it's, it's a nice wrap, very nice wrap. Like that copper springbok, we we just couldn't get within range, but we just I just saw now that his tip of his horns broken off anyway. So let's leave him there. He's walking up there. Okay. Kind of ran out of cover. We'll go look we'll for another one. one. Yeah. Good. Okay. There's one eating right here. The one on the far right. The one right here. Yeah. That's a good one, very nice one. It's about 170. Closest to us. You just let him stop. Or just, just let him come nice and clean and broadside. Let's go to this next bush. Okay. That's him, that's him right there. We got him. That spring box kind of running in that direction, but there's a black rhino right there. So, well, um, I'm gonna put Richard on that hill there. He's gonna look down here and see if he can spot it for us somewhere in here. We don't need to push that thing off. No, not at all. <laughs> we're gonna run inside the rocks here. What was your last leg? Yeah, his, his leg is broken. His neck is broken. Leg. Or leg. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if a broken leg in his rock, they don't run very good. I don't have a broken leg, and I don't look very good in these rocks. <laughs> well, this is our last animal after a 12 day hunt, a copper spring buck to add to my uh, two common spring bucks I have. Hopefully, next trip I can come get a black and a white. But uh, as a long shot, I hit him just a little bit short. And uh, Richard here tracked him uh, right into a, a black rhino, which uh, was a little bit tense for us for a little bit there. And we got back in the truck, and Richard tracked him all the way through, I don't know, 800 yards, maybe further. And uh, Richard finished him off for us. So Richard was uh, my first tracker here 13 years ago, and uh, he came through on my last hunt. And I want to thank you very much, Richard, for thank a great you, hunt. Thank you for finding him for me. Thank you.